What's up guys? I'm Adrian from Adoriani.com and today I'm going to speak about one of the most important steps in the mixing process and that's the gain staging or how to set the proper levels in your mix. If your mixes lack punch or have lots of harshness or they lack in definition and space, maybe it's time for you to start looking at the gain staging of your mixes. Gain staging is one of the most important stages in the audio mixing process. Basically, this is the foundation of mixing. But what I mean by that? Well, when I started mixing, of course, first I was producing the song, then I was mixing it. And the thing is that I used to mix my songs without thinking about the gain staging because this was more uh, important in the analog world. In the digital world of audio, we have more or less freedom. Let me explain. In the analog world, we have transistors and tubes and different circuits that, after a certain audio level, they start to saturate, clip, and modify your mix even if you don't want to. On the other hand, in the digital world, you have to pay attention and avoid being on red. That is, avoiding the tracks inside your mix to distort unless you want them to. So, in the analog audio world, recording engineers used to set the gain staging before recording anything. That is, setting the proper levels of preamps or whatever audio hardware they used in order to have the best signal to noise ratio. Because you see, in the old days and even today, analog preamps and consoles, well, they will have their noise and the recording engineers try to mask that as much as possible in order to assure they will have the best recordings and after the best mixes possible. Also coming from this uh, analog world, a lot of audio plugins companies had this gain uh, staging in mind when they produced different emulations of analog EQs, compressors, etc. So the gain staging is especially useful if you are using that kind of analog emulations, because after a certain volume of the audio signal, if the emulation is uh, properly done, the plugin will distort or saturate and bringing down the volume fader of your track won't fix the problem. Anyway, if you want to know more about that, there are plenty of good articles on the internet. But today I'm going to show you a really quick way of how to set the proper levels before starting a mixing session in your digital audio workstation. For today's tutorial, it will be best if you will have some uh, video meter plugin, which shows the audio signal level. I'm usually using the Waves uh, VU meter, but there are some free options like this uh, VU meter from TB Pro Audio, which you can download here. So here I have a song of mine, and these are the individual tracks which I'm going to set the proper levels for. Let's listen a bit. You may know by now that for the mastering stage you'll need at least 6 dBs of headroom in order to assure the proper EQ and compression processing. And you may have noticed that on my master I have less than that. Let's watch that again. Well, this is not a great way of starting your mix. We need more headroom. If you watch here on the view meter, you can choose how much headroom you want to have for your mix. This is where you can set the reference level. On the view meter from Waves, it says 18 dBs of headroom. And the, on the TB Pro Audio's uh, view meter is called reference level. What you need to know is that they are meaning the same thing. So let's use this level as reference and what I'm going to do is to set the audio signal of all the tracks in my mix to hit 
more or less the 80 dBs of headroom level. And we're doing this by almost hitting the zero mark here. Now let's see if we are good on the mastering track level. Much better. Okay, now we are ready to start adding EQs, compressors and other plugins. If you want to know more, go to our site adoriani.com slash free tips and download your free copy of my ebook on 10 essential mixing and mastering tips. And you know the drill. Please subscribe, like and leave some comments and help us grow for more videos like this. Until next time, stay cool and make great music.